and welcome everybody to another exciting action pack fun Sunday check-in with your teacher, Mr. Fabs. Uh, today, as promised, I have for you guys the famed mug collection. Maybe some of you have heard me talk about this in some of my other videos. Uh, I am very fortunate enough to get a mug every time my beautiful fiance travels to a different spot. She tries to pick me up a mug uh, from each uh, special spot she goes to. She brings it home and she tells me a story that goes along with that mug. And so I am excited to share some of these mug designs with you guys here today. Uh, but before I do that, I just wanna make sure that you all are doing good. I wanna wish you guys all a happy holiday uh, on this day. Um, I hope you guys are all at home he uh, healthy and safe. Make sure you guys take some time to go outside. It was a beautiful day out today. Um, you know, just make sure you go outside, enjoy yourself, make sure you practice social distancing, but just breathe in that nice clean air, okay? It does a lot for you. So, without further ado, guys, let me take you right down the line here. These are the mugs from a bunch of different places. And I will start right here with this one. This one came to us directly from Abilene, Texas. Um, Marissa went down there. Uh, my fiance, Marissa, went down there. And she was in training. So when she was down there, she got me a mug from Abilene, Texas. This one is from her squadron. The 143rd Rhode Island Air National Guard down in Kwanzaa. And you can see... It has her wings and the C-130J that she flies on, as well as her uh, last name there. So, pretty neat. Here we have a, another one from a western state. This one comes, for us, comes to us from Arizona. Even though it says Tombstone AT, AT was the original abbreviation for Arizona down there. Look it up. Pretty uh, neat piece of information. I thought it was a misprint originally, but no. Case. This was the gunfight at the OK Corral from Arizona. Okay, she went out there for a training. She goes out there pretty much every year around Christmas time to drop some people. This one came to us from San Antonio, Texas. You can see this one's kind of cool. It has a lot, a lot of scenery on there. A pretty neat handle, but uh, it's actually. A lot of graphics on there. That is the river ride that goes through San Antonio right through the center. Uh, it's pretty neat. I've never been. I hope to be one day. But uh, from what I've seen, the pictures, it's actually quite beautiful. Here we have one from overseas. This one, can you tell where that's from? Does that the Leaning Tower there give you any idea? Correct. That is the Leaning Tower of Pisa. That is from Italy all the way from Italy definitely a cool mug and this is actually my second mug to the collection uh, my fiance wanted me to bring out this mug too it says love right there this was the mug we got uh, when I asked her to marry me so this is our engagement mug one of her friends gave it to her very nice gesture and that has a special place in our hearts this mug kind of cool it's a neat shape this one was a camping mug. This was gotten from Pine Acres Resort in Massachusetts. Uh, it's got a little camper on there. Pretty neat. Kind of like a nice soup mug. Definitely digging it. This mug. Now, as you know, I'm from Rhode Island. So everybody has to have their Rhode Island mug. This one's pretty cool. This was gotten down in uh, Newport. All right. It has the state of Rhode Island on there with some pretty... Cool towns, uh, One Socket, Providence, East Greenwich, Narragansett, so on and so on. And then on the back, it has a little history of Rhode Island as well. So, the Ocean State, in case you didn't know that. Here we have a Maine mug. Maine lobster, right there. Okay. This was gotten on a trip when we went up to Maine this past summer. It's a great trip. This was one of our last stops. Coming back from Maine, we stopped into a little like uh, candy store, and they had a couple mugs like this there, so we decided to pick this up, along with some chocolate-covered Oreos, too. Those are definitely good. And yes, they were vegan, so don't worry. 
I know you guys are familiar with this mug, the Putnam Clippers mug. This is the old school mug, not too many of these left. Blue on the inside, white on the outside. You got the Clipper blue right there. Through and through, we are Clipper blue. I don't know if that's a thing, I just made it up, but we'll see. Sounds pretty good. So, got that there. Here, this is when um, <clears throat> my fiance was deployed to Kuwait. Okay, has a camel right there, and it says, Someone in Kuwait loves me. So, not quite sure who that was. Hope it was her, but I don't know. But anyway, from all around the world. Here we have a mug from Qatar. Okay, also kind of a, a neat design, similar to the San Antonio mug. Uh, it has a couple different stamps on there, it says Qatar on the front. Definitely a cool mug. This, this next mug was the first mug that I ever got. This mug here is from Germany. It has three German towns on it, Ramstein, Kaiserschlatten, and Landstahl. Has the German seal on it, one of the German seals. Um, has a, even a small picture right on the inside of that. Ooh, smaller one of this. But this was my very first mug. Very special mug. This mug here has a lighthouse on it. If you can't see that, I apologize, but it says Rockport, Massachusetts on it. This was from another trip last summer where we went up to Rockport. It's a beautiful, beautiful area. I would suggest you all trying it out there uh, with your families if you can. Definitely a good mug. This is like a two cupper of coffee in the morning mug. Definitely a fan of this one. And then the last mug we have in our collection so far is the Biloxi Beach, Mississippi mug. All right, these areas here are so cool. They are almost like uh, like um, sea foam from the ocean. It is definitely one of the coolest designs here. Another large mug. As you know, you cannot never have enough coffee in the morning, but a Biloxi Beach, Mississippi mug. So <clears throat> I hope you guys have all enjoyed the mugs from around the world and around the United States. This is only the beginning, so hopefully in years to come, there will be many, many, many more mugs. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed just uh, taking a little peek into the different type of mugs. Hopefully it gives you some context now uh, when you see those in the other videos. So this is my time saying I'm going to sign off. That's a horrible ending. I really have to work on that one too. But uh, this is Mr. F saying, I hope you guys are all enjoying the day, having a safe day, a uh, happy day with your family, and um, just, you know, just be happy. You guys got a lot to be thankful for. So, this is Mr. F saying goodbye, be safe guys, and I will see you all on the next video. Take care everybody. Bye-bye.